Well, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Got that wrong yesterday, didn't I? Welcome back to Let's Build the World. And today we are on a new lot, my loves. We are on a new house. We are with the Ralstons. They are a gay couple in their, I reckon, early 30s. They've got a small little child as well and a dog. And they are moving into the lot, which is just over the road from where the Rosebergs are. So, or oh, the Rosenberg, sorry. Um, and we're going to get building today. We're going to build something that's very similar to this kind of vibe here. Ta-da! I just think this kind of house on this particular area or in this particular area of Willow Creek will look beautiful. So that is what we're going to go ahead and do. Um very american this house looks to me that whenever i think of an american house i always kind of like think of this kind of vibe i know they're not all like that but very quintessentially we're going to do quite a big long drive i think for this house as well because it's on a bigger lot and i don't necessarily want to have a bigger house on this lot i just want the lot to be a bit bigger than the well it the lot is a bit bigger than the rest of them it's going to be lots of fails today, I tell you that bloody much, darlings. Um, But yeah, what we'll do, we'll crack on. I'll introduce you to the family properly, tell you their backgrounds and whatnot, and then we're going to start building. So let's do it, shall we? Well, here we are, my darlings. We are at the Ralston residence. We are with this iconic family that I'm going to be introducing you to in just a second. He is throwing Eva around like nobody's business, and I'm absolutely here for it. I really, really am. <laughs> Bless them. Bless them. Oh, I, I always think this sim is so hot. He's like one of the... He's so gorgeous, isn't he? Very, very nice. I might have to move you in with somebody, actually. One of my families. Um, We need to put some body hair on you as well. But this is the family, my loves. I'm going to pause it while we go around and introduce you to everybody. So first up is Maverick. This is Maverick Ralston. Um, he is an astronaut. He's an astronaut. He is the poster child of the American dream at the minute. He's quite famous. He's got lots of advertising deals with sports brands and cars. And because he is the kind of, and he is a notable newcomer as well at the minute. He's kind of in the prime of his limelight. He, I reckon they're both in their late 20s, early 30s as well. Um, he was in the military for years and years. And he decided, is he checking him out? I think he is. I mean, I don't blame you, Maverick, to be honest with you. I don't blame you, darling. Um, yeah, he was in the military for years and he decided to go down the kind of um, more scientific side by being an astronaut. Uh, he went to university as well. He's got three degrees, I think, does Maverick. I will show you what degrees he's got if I can remember where they are. They're in here. And he has got a communications degree, a uh, computer science degree and a physics degree as well. So he is a bit of a clever, clever person. I've also made him a perfectionist, active, ambitious, and domestic. <laughs> I've got to chuck a bit of filth in here, you know? It is me we're talking about. Um, but yeah, he is the kind of poster child for America at the minute. He has got his sights set on everything. He wants to climb up to the top of his career. Um, and I just think he's iconic. Really, really iconic. And I love him. And this is his dog, Sarge. It was his dog before he actually met Felix, who I'll introduce you in just a second. I would say these guys have been together for around about seven years-ish. Um, and they decided to go down the surrogacy side of having a child. And this is little Eva. Now, the donor of the surrogacy was Maverick. So this is... They're both... Eva is both of their child. But Maverick was the kind of... Fertilizer. <laughs> shall we say that's what that's what we're doing we're sticking to it she's even got her, her iconic pride shoes on and i'm very much for them um but yes I, re I really really like this character i just can't believe he's checking him out i don't blame you to be honest darling don't blame you at all now let's see you. oh put her down put her down for goodness sake there we go now this is this is felix <laughs> Felix, in my eyes, is in the kind of film industry. I reckon Felix was... I got inspired from um, The Holiday. I reckon Felix used to make uh, film trailers. Used to make film trailers for movies. And 
that was his calling he absolutely loved it absolutely loved it but little eva came along and felix decided to take a couple of years off out of his career and look after little eva at home so that is what he does he's got a hard job in the world hard, one of the hardest jobs in the world and yeah he looks after eva at home and keeps the house all together because i would say maverick is away at work and stuff quite a bit because he is an astronaut <laughs> i love this I love this and notably famous as well or getting there at least he's definitely a notable newcomer so this is obviously where we're going to be building i'm going to do quite a long drive i think because i'm not going to be building all of this space up with a big house it's going to be a big house four bedrooms i would like but it's still going to um kind of not look massive against these houses if you know what i mean i'm going to do exactly the same for this one over here just because they've got a bigger back garden and stuff i still want them to keep them kind of that kind of size that's what's going to happen and we're all for it now felix is also really really close with bella goth or was really really close with bella goth they were their best friends in the neighborhood really him and bella used to be amazing amazing friends and he is well he's happy at the minute but he is still very worried at the fact that bella is missing he has tried everything to find her he's gone to the park where she's disappeared left posters everywhere um, hired private investigators. He has done everything that he can to try and find out and to no avail, avail just yet. But yeah, I really like this family. It's a nice quintessential gay couple. Don't worry, there's going to be lots of other like lesbians, bisexuals, trans. We're going to be covering exactly like we always do with all of our Let's Build the Worlds. We are going to get as much representation in as possible. But I just wanted to start off with a gay couple on the street because it's going to be iconic and we're all going to be here for it. So, without further ado, let's flop on over into the build mode and we're going to start building this house. Okay, so let's get this build started. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that then, but that will do. That will do indeed. The only problem with this lot is the driveway is right in the center of the lot and that infuriates me. So what I'm going to have to do is make the driveway kind of swing round to this side, I think. I think that's what's going to have to happen. I don't really mind, but I would have preferred if it was on the edge of the lot um okay we're gonna start don't forget i'm using that reference picture as well that i showed you in the beginning not gonna look exactly like the build itself or the house itself but i do want it to kind of mirror it quite nicely kind of balanced on both sides with a big white window we're not gonna be able to find similar windows to that i think the snowy escape windows would look great in this lot so i'll probably go down that route to be honest with you now the other side's got a bay window i don't think i want to do that i think i want to keep it kind of same oh that's one more on that side would that be big enough yeah 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 let me just see the balance of the other house as well with a garage and stuff it will look stunning it really will really really will so i'm just going to map in the front part first um round about to there yes and then the driveway is obviously going to go over to here don't forget i'm going to be well i am going to be raising this up slightly as well and sloping the front up that's what's going to happen uh, and then I'm going to put a nice garage here. A big garage. Garage. <laughs> All right, Agent Darling. Calm yourself down. There we go. Yeah, the, that kind of size, I think. I think a car would fit in there quite nicely. Oh, forget. Oh, no, I have got it on. <gasps> I thought it didn't have me mod on. I was going to be fuming. Um, Let me just see a car size in there. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll probably do a double car. Mm, no i'll do one garage and i'll make it i'll keep that car in there for the minute um i'll do one garage and i'll have one side with all bits and bobs and stuff on you know yes right okay i'm gonna do bit by floor plan with this house as well now, i do want a kind of nice i'm gonna put the stairs in first actually and then i can build around the stairs i do want a nice kind of like double uh width staircase i think i think i do and then i want to swing it around so it's got this like big moment in the front yes i'm not necessarily going to be using these stairs i'm just going to use these to kind of mark them in yes okay okay and then i'm going to just put box that all in like so stunning yes and then this this would make a nice entrance here then uh, I can have this little front section here as an office, I think. I think this would be the perfect kind of office there. Absolutely glorious. 
over into a living room on this side. So I'll put the living room there. This can be a nice passageway moment coming out through here. A too wide one. I could even put a toilet here, actually. It's a perfect place for a toilet. Oh, stunning. Yes. Nice big kitchen at the back. Um, I would probably want a sunroom on this house as well. So I'll probably do some, some kind of conservatory. I'm going to put the kitchen here. And then I think what would work perfectly is putting a dining room on this side. Uh, that might be a bit small, actually. I might make that dining room a tiny little bit bigger. Yeah, I think so. I do think so. And I think... I think because of their jobs and stuff, they need a gym. So I'm going to do a home gym here as well. Or because of his job, he needs to be like fit and whatnot. I'm going to do a home gym. It's going to happen. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I am going to do one bedroom here. Well, let me just see the, the shape of this at the front. Because I do need to do those kind of like dormer pieces. Don't know how we're going to do that. So I'm just going to do one wall across there first. Um... It does look like there's a medium height at the bottom and a short one at the top. So I'm going to keep it like that for the minute. That might change. I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. It's all going on. Okay. I'm trying to map in underneath of what the floor plan here is because I would like to maybe... Um. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. Nope. Change my mind. Change my mind. Right. I need a little think with this and I'm going to come back to you. So the upstairs floor plan. The upstairs floor plan is like so. I haven't put, I'm going to put like a um, banister around this and knock out this little bit here. So do ignore that. So we've got a four bedroom house here. One of the bedrooms being here. Another one here. I may whittle the shape around of this a little bit just to make this a little bit more interesting. Because I just don't like how long that is really. I could even give them their own ensuite, which I'll probably do instead. So I'm going to give them their own ensuite. I'll do it to like there. Yeah, that's a bit better. That is a bit better. So this bedroom's got their own ensuite, as is as has most of the bedrooms, really. Master bedroom here with the ensuite. Another little bedroom here. This is going to be the family bathroom. And then there's a smaller bedroom here, which I'll probably do for guests. Or I might even make into a playroom for Eva. I think I'll give Eva her own little playroom there. And then maybe her bedroom can be just next to... Or you'd probably want a bit better access, wouldn't you, from the parents' bedroom. So I could put I could put Eva in here. This is going to be Eva's bedroom. Yes, that is happening. And then what I've did with the underneath as well, I've pulled out the top over one. So it's a bit overhung. And I've also bay windowed these bits here. These are the kind of windows that I do want to use on here. I don't think... I could be wrong, but I would love if these windows came in clear. Why did they not give us that? I don't understand why they gave us just the ones with the kind of paper windows for the medium heights. <sighs> Sims. 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 You know? But I can make my own. I can make my own by overlapping them. I might even use the smaller ones down here and then overlap them. Are they clear? I can't even tell. Yeah. And then overlap them down here. Do you know what I mean? And I can put them on the bay window maybe. I don't really like that. I don't really like that at all. I mean, they, they need to be whiffled closer together and stuff. But no, I do not like that. In fact, you know what I think I might do is bring the height of the house down. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm going to do that. I've still got this reference image here. This looks nothing like the reference image. But it's nice to get inspired from a reference image. That's what I always find when you're building. Get inspired from a reference image. You don't necessarily have to copy exactly what the reference image has got. Um, just get inspired from it, loves, and see what happens. Now, I'm feeling this might be a bit big across here. And it definitely is. I think I need to put a different... Oh, God. No, I do not like that on a short height now. Not at all. Yeah, I'm going to like it from the front. I just don't... I don't know if I like how wide this roof is. We're going to trial it anyway and see what happens. See what happens. I still want it to fit in with this world. But it is going to be slightly different kind of vibes from this house. Um, I don't hate that. I don't hate it. It just needs to be up a little bit more, I think. I'm going to do some air. Uh... Oh, 
I want to do some like roof pieces on there as well. Now that's a little bit too high. Let me go down to that one. Let me see that balance. Yeah, that's nice actually. Yeah, I do like that. Okay. Okay, I'm not so not so worried about that now. What I'm going to do is plop this back to here. Tuck in this flap. Bring this one across with the flaps tucked up. There we go. Frame those windows like that. And then bring this one over to this one. Lovely. This These flaps. Oh, Christ. These flaps now need to be tucked in like so. And then I'm going to bring you to about... Maybe not there, actually. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. 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 She's on it. She's on it. It's fine. You don't need to panic. She's on it. She is on it. She's on one. She's doing it. Yeah. No, this roof's going to be fine, actually. I thought it was going to be a bit too, like, wide this way. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm happy. It's it's okay. It's okay. We're doing it. Uh, I'm going to tuck your flaps in and then pull that flap out there as well. Okay. So we've got that moment going on there. And then what I want to do is put on some roof pieces just above the windows. So just to get a nice shape like that. Um, that's a nice shape itself, but I fear I might have to just come in a couple. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm for that, I tell you. We're going to do that there and then also there as well. Let me just see that from the front. I may need... Like, my escape button's not working anymore whenever I've got, like, a roof piece or something in my hand. Like, all my delete. Like, what's going on, Sims team? Sort your shit out. Very annoying. Ever since this last update, my game is just... I'm lagging as well. Watch this. Watch. I'll go into live mode. Look at that lag. Look at that lag. And I'll go back to build mode. Lagging. And then to get rid of this lag, what I have to do is save the game. And then the lag's gone. It's nothing to do with my, like, notifications or anything either. Because there's, like, five notifications here. Um, It is to do with the last update of the game. It's bugged it up for me. I don't know what's going on. My, my game should not be lagging. Considering the my specs and my PC and stuff. So it's very annoying. And I'm very fuming about it. And I think you can tell. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> so the top, I really want a nice green. I would like a nice green bit of siding. So I think we're going to put that on now, my loves. May as well, we're here. And I've got an idea for the one that I want. Yeah, that one, that one. Oh, no, they haven't got a green. Oh, this one has, but it's got the white on it. I don't want the white on it. That's not green. That's blue. Um, Are you telling me that it comes in this in green, but then in here it doesn't? Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Yep, we're going to put you up there and there as well, darling. All the way around to there. Thank you. Yes, I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, what? <laughs> Getting annoyed at myself. I like it. Well, I would get annoyed at that, Aiden, because that was fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I like it. Oh, go to hell. Do you know what I might do? I'm not feeling this big bulky bit here. I'm going to um, bring it out from here instead. Here and here. I know it's going to like overhang underneath, but I could easily bring this out as well. And then we'll figure out the floor plan underneath. We can like have a movie room and stuff like this. This family are quite well off. Oh, yeah. I kind of prefer that layout anyway. I don't know about you. But I do. Yes, I'm for it. Okay. And now underneath, I want a stone. Um, The one that I thought I would, would use would be the base game one that I love. I still love to this day. This one here. Oh, that does look good. That does look good. But I was just wondering if I could use something different. Yeah. Let me just have a little think. Let me have a little look and see if I can find anything a little bit better than that. Now, I happen to like this one. I tried this one here. I tried a couple of them. And I think this one here is just the winner, to be honest. So I'm going to go for it. I bloody am. I'm going to go for it here. I'm probably not going to get much done today, my loves, to be honest with you. But um, don't worry, I'll roof line all of this piece up in a, probably next time. Um, but I just want to get the bare bones down today. Get the bare bones down today and we'll come back tomorrow and do more of the exterior. But for today, oh, I don't like that across like that. I think it needs to like 
be here. I don't know what roof line we're going to put on this bit. Like that is extending at the back here. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. Don't you worry. But I like the shape of it so far from the front. I don't know about you guys, but I do. And I'm feeling a bit more of a dark slate for the roof. Yeah, for the roof texture. This one here would be nice. So let's get some crisp white um, trims on it all the way along, my loves. Yes. And there as well. Gorgeous. Yeah, I like that. And we definitely need a trim around the edge of some descript, but I don't want to go too chunky with it. I mean, that's kind of perfect, actually. Oh, yes. Yes, that's much better. I'm just going to take it all the way along as well. And then we'll figure out what to do with that a bit later. Yes, I'm kind of here for that. Kind of here for that. This is still throwing me. The stone is still throwing me. I do... I need to go back to the drawing board one sec. So I'm going to go for this one here, which came with the... The bowling pack, did it? Why? <laughs> yeah, I prefer that. That there's just, I don't know. That's a bit more what I want, I think. I think. Might change, but we're going to go for it anyway. We're going to start. Right, I'm going to put this on the garage. The garage area. And we're going to roof up the garage as well. Um, <laughs> I think as well what I'm going to do is do two little dormers on the garage. <laughs> Why do I say it like that? It's garage. It's absolute garage. Bloody garage. Give you garage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I am. I'm just wondering what dormers could I put up there though? Because I don't think we're going to get ones that would match in with the vibe of this house very much. Please give us some more dormers that look nice. I would like some more dormers, please. Thank you. And good night. Thank you very much. Um, that one there's the only one that matches it. No, I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. Don't like it. The windows look weird on it. Oh, that one's not too bad. I mean, I could make my own. Please stop staring at me. I know that you're wanting to go for a walk, but we can't just yet, my darling. Because it is indeed not your walking time. It is kind of, yeah, it's coming up to it. <laughs> He knows. Isn't it weird? That intuition of dogs when they know what time they should be fed and what time they should be going out and whatnot. Very clever. That's why they're my favourite animals in the world. They really are. They're much better than humans. Humans are shit. Humans are shit. We're not. We're great. We're great in this community. But a lot of humans are shit. They really are. Um, This isn't balanced. Uh, do I want to do this here? I kind of... What are you doing? Look, and then I'm pressing escape and I can't get rid of this fucking roof now. <laughs> Hello, my name's Aiden and I'm salty. I am salty. Why can I not tuck these flaps up? Tuck your flaps in. Thank you. Well, that just looks exactly the same and it's wonky. Oh my God. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to do one. <laughs> just going to do one. I couldn't balance the other ones. And that was very, very making me fuming then. Don't know if you could tell, but I was a little bit salty then. Don't know if you could tell. I I, I hid it well. I did. I, I hid it well. So, yes. <laughs> so, yes. There we go. Okay. So, I figured out just to like click off instead of trying to press exit at the minute because that doesn't work. To click off. Okay. 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 <laughs> right, we're, gonna, we're moving on. I want to do a, a garage, but I want maybe like, ah, oh, it's the wrong way around. I suppose these aren't. These aren't the wrong way around. I could do like a little garage door moment with these. Like I could put like the clear ones on the top, maybe. Like so. What balances you? Probably leaving it like that would be balanced. <clears throat> like at the top. And then at the bottom, I'm going to do like a, a frosted window at the bottom. Let me see if that would work. Why won't you go down any lower? What? What? Why can I not put this window on the ground? Is the, is the build mode here to piss me off today? Because it's working. Like, like, why? You should be able to place windows anywhere you want. Yes, something like that. 
That... It... What? Why couldn't that go down there? Like this one does. I don't understand. Very fuming. But I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Pretend garage door and whatnot. Right, now we've got to try and figure out windows here, which is going to be a little bit hard, I think. But I'm going to give it a good old blast. I'm going to give it a blast and see what happens. What about if I move these? Uh, I might have to put like a, a pillar in between that, like this. And then do a smaller one on top, maybe. I do want this big window moment in the front here. I think it would look iconic, sexy and delicious. But... I don't know if it's going to translate well. Oh, I don't mind it. I'll tell you that much. Don't mind it. It does need perfecting. But just let's just get the bare bones out. I don't like, like the gap in the middle, if you know what I mean, where you can see the stone. But I just tried to move it across and it made the window kind of creep out weirdly. So I might just need to perfect that. So let's just get these down roughly for the minute, just to see the vibe. Okay. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then the same over this side as well. Again, I'm just putting these down roughly for the minute. Um, And obviously, I changed the height back up to medium again because the short height was just ugly. Oh, is that fitty again? Hello. Hi. Hi. Would you like to talk about our Lord say... Lord, what, what's the sentence? I can't remember. But would you would you just like to talk? A chat? A drink, perhaps? Some chest hair, perhaps. Aiden, this is not the time. It's supposed to be building. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually mind that, I don't think. I think once we get a nice door here as well, I was thinking using one of the Strangerville doors. Um, like this kind of like moment here. Oh, the green looks nice. I just don't like the black on the windows, and they've all got black on the windows, haven't they? Hmm. Oh, this door would look oh, that looks nice. If I was going to put a colour here, though, I'd probably want to go for, like, a different colour. Like, maybe a red looks nice with it. It does look nice. Or a pure white. I don't know. Maybe. Let me see. I kind of like the white one. But I did like the grit. Like, see, I can't get rid of this anymore. Very, very fuming about it. <laughs> Today it's just been me salty. But you guys seem to enjoy when I'm salty. So, so I don't really need to apologise. Because <laughs> you're all fiends, aren't you? Yeah, I kind of like the red door. Don't you? Complimentary with the green. We'll keep the red door for the minute and see what happens. Right, first off, what we need to do is raise up the height of the house. I do want this to be... Because I'm going to... Um, we're going to landscape up here. And I'm going to terrain up to that level up there. But I do want a porch moment. So maybe we should add that in first. Um, I'm thinking a small little three by three. Like there. And maybe we could have like a, like a staircase on each side kind of moment. Could that be a thing? Mm, no, I'm going to keep it simple. Just keep it simple, Aiden. It's the best way to be for this house because it seems to be pissing you off no end. So we're going to keep it simple. Um, I think we need like a stone. A stone. The only, I love this staircase. The only problem is it just doesn't come with the connecting bit. And whenever I try and... I forget I said anything. Forget I said anything, darlings. It worked. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. But this is making me want to do like a even more of a porch moment here now. Can we do this? Can we do this? These stairs are going to disappear, but we can always put them back on. Like, can we have like a little moment here? Um, I can't escape out of this either now. Like, what is going on? Like, why does it not allow me to escape out of it? That is infuriating. Is anybody else experiencing that? I'd be very, very interested to know because... <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being very salty today and I do apologise. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking like a little porch moment now. 
I don't know why, but I just, I just am. I just very much am. Do we want to come up with the green here? Or do we want to keep it stone down at the bottom? I kind of like the green. And then getting rid of the wall at the front. I don't really need that wall at the front, to be honest. And then having the red door on the inside of that. I think that I'm going to prefer that. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Now, can I get this across here? I don't think I can. Nope. I need to go into here and whiffle this into place here. Scooby-Dooby. Booby-Dooby. And then one of those. Yep. Lovely. Ah, oh, still for it. I know I'm missing wallpaper there. Don't shit yourselves. There we go. Yes, I think I'll prefer that. And then have the red door in the middle. And I did like this door. It was lovely. Very nice door. Oh, stunning door, that one. I don't like it in red now. <laughs> Just because there's green down here now. So I might keep it in white. That could change. We're just going to keep that for the moment. Um, going to be hard to match in foundation here. Not that we're going to see the foundation anyway. I'm going to try and lift up the terrain around it. So I'll just do a plain. Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, God, I hate that as well. Um, It needs to be a stone foundation. Right, I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to use this one and I will raise the train around it anyway. So ignore that for the second. Yeah, no, that's not too bad. That isn't too bad at all. And then I'm going to put some stairs here. The stairs that we were using, these ones here in that brownie tone. Like so gorgeous. Yeah, but I've, I've done this whole porch moment and I'm thinking about putting a fence here now. <laughs> but you know, you've got to do these kind of things. <laughs> you just do. Okay, and then what do we use staircase wise over there? Let's get some inspiration here. We use that one. So maybe I'll use that one here as well, which is this one. Even though it would look nice, a little bit more ornate, this house. Oh, no, that does look good. And then we have got a matching fence. You know, you've got to like limit yourself sometimes with what fence you use because they don't come in the matching banisters. Thanks, Sims team. Thank you. We love that. We love when you do that. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep it. And I'm not doing that anymore here, but I will keep that green there. Or should I put the stone up there? <laughs> oh my God. I'm on one today, my loves. So I'll tell you that much. But, you know, you've got to be. You've got to be fussy. You've got to be fussy with what you build. You really do. Right, and a lovely pillar, please. Um, I think I'll use the one from Cats and Dogs. In, no, that's not white. That's white. One there, one there. One there, one there. And let's get some spandrel moments up the top as well. Oh, I don't know what spandrels to use. So maybe these, actually. Maybe this kind of vibe. Not that you can fucking see that, but, you know, as long as we know it's there. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, I want it a little bit more ornate. I can't get out of this now. There we go. I want it a little bit more ornate than that at the front. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do, my loves. Even though I've just done all of that, we're going to get rid of it just for the second while I do something. And that's something... Is going to be this. This one here. Up the top there. Like that. It's making me I'm gonna change the pillars as well now. Now I'm doing this. Need a bit more of a square pillar. And then here. And then here. Hello, darling. <laughs> Just popped on the screen then. <laughs> yes. And then I'm gonna put these those fences back on. Where are you, darling? There you are. Back on. There we go, and there we go. Change the foundation. Yeah, we do need to change the pillars now. We're going to go a bit squarer with the pillars. So let me find a good pillar. Okay, so things have changed. I was just looking at this and it was just... There was something bothering me. and I don't know what it was. And it was the stone. It was just looking weird. I didn't like the size of the porch. Everything was just going wrong today. So instead, what I've done is just... I've, I've put all of the uh, green siding all over the build. And I much prefer it. I much prefer it this way. So that is what we're sticking to today. Started to do a bit of the training, but we'll carry on with this tomorrow. I think we'll carry on with all of this tomorrow. I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera work to this as well. Especially the roof line at the back. I'll show you what we end up doing with the roof line at the back tomorrow. 
I still don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. I think I need to change the layout indoors slightly. Um, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, but today, we've made a start. We've made a start on this brand new house. I do like the shape of it. I do like the look of it. I think it suits the family as well. Big family house. Tomorrow, we'll come back with more exterior work. I know that there's like not the siding on there and there. Let's just do that before we leave. You know, I prefer that. I'm going to do a few more pillars here and there as well, just to really make this place pop. But for today, I think that's a good enough start for what we've got. It's going to be a big house. It really is. It's going to be a big house. But you, do you see what I mean? It still fits in with the volume of this house over here. It's not massive. Unless you kind of look at it at this angle, you can tell it's bigger that way. But yeah, I'll come back tomorrow. We'll figure this out tomorrow. And um, I won't fight around with the build mode so much, hopefully. So there we go, my darlings. End of part one of the Ralstons. Um, it's coming together. I think it's going to be a little bit of tweaking here and there, as I have been doing. As I said, I'll do a little bit off of camera as well, just to like bring a few pieces in, get that roof line sorted, especially. But I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you. Get some comments in the box. I'm going to give Blue a walk because he is fuming that he wants to go out for a walkies. I'll be live on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. We are continuing the village shop builds that i'm doing in the sims 4 at 7 p.m gmt i'll see you there if not i'll see you tomorrow goodbye